Hi hey guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here with a showcase of my Kings of War Ogre Army. Now this is just part of the army, I can't fit everything in the light box at one time. So what I'll do is I'll go through each of the units one by one um, with the configuration which I normally use in my 2000 point army lists for tournaments and the like. Um, and some photos and things like that. So without further ado, let's get on to what's in the list. There's two hordes of Ogre Warriors. The one on the left has got Hand Weapon and Shield, and the one on the right has Two-Handed Weapons. But I also use these quite often uh, put together into a Legion, uh, which is 12 models strong. Um, and it's nice that you can do that because um, the central point between the two just marks the uh, unit point leader for the game-wise. So this is my Horde of Hunters. They've been converted from Mantic Ogres with Hand Weapons and Shields. The spears have been made with brass rod and then green stuff wood grain on top of that. Uh, the points of the spears uh, cut down uh, swords from the um, standard Mantic equipment. The net has been sculpted out of green stuff and then the hat on the guy on the right has also been sculpted out of green stuff. This is my horde of siege breakers. Mantic don't yet make miniatures for this, so I've converted these. The shields are made out of plasticard, which had then had the wood grain uh, scored into it. The strips of banded um, metal come across the front, and then the rivets for that were made using Titchy Train rivets. And a horde of ogre shooters, or alternatively I can split them apart and run them as two regiments of shooters. These are armed with crossbows. And this is two troops of the new Berserker Ogres. Um, there's a bit of repairs which need to be done on these uh, from the tournament I went to. Um, being metal models they need a lot of pinning and stuff to keep them in place. And I was in a bit of a rush to finish them before the tournament so I still need to go back and add uh, more highlighting um, to everything other than the flesh, so on all the weapons and the armor and things like that. So once I've finished doing that extra work, these are going to look absolutely fantastic. Two troops of Red Goblin Scouts, or if I feel like it, I can put them together the way they're based, and that will allow me to run a regiment of Red Goblin Scouts. This is my Ogre Standard Bearer. It's the standard Mantic model, just with a hat green stuffed on him. So this is my warlord, Grok Agamok, who's a special character, uh, who is very, very brutal in close combat, does an extremely large amount of damage uh, for an individual.